guys welcome back to a new video so happy to have you so just a little life update basically i've been here in los angeles at my parents house during my winter break and we've just been staying here at home quarantining following all the guidelines and i actually haven't even been seeing barrett because he's staying at his parents house and you're not really supposed to see people outside of your household so we didn't want to mix our families together so yeah that's been pretty difficult but we've just been trying to stay super safe so we've pretty much just been home 24 7 aside from the occasional walk or hike but i'm really excited because we decided to rent an airbnb in joshua tree which is like about a two hour drive from where we are so it's kind of a little mini road trip we're still staying in california but it's if you guys don't know what Joshua Tree is, it's basically a desert in California and they have a lot of Airbnbs there and it's a really small town and all of the Airbnbs are super isolated. So you're not close to anybody. It's great for social distancing. It's honestly the most exciting thing I've done in I don't know how long. And we're just gonna be staying in the house. We already got all of our groceries, so we're not gonna be going anywhere just isolating at the airbnb and maybe going on some hikes it'll be nice we're bringing the dogs and yeah just a little family road trip i'm super excited to take you guys along and show you our new digs in the desert let's get into the video this is where i'm at with my knitting slow and steady wins the race Weds quiz, except for my parents who have been married for how long? Uh, 28 years or something like that. Already off to not a great start. So, this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna ask you 10 questions, and then each of you are gonna take turns saying what you think the other person's answer is, and they'll say whether you're right or wrong. And whoever loses the most questions has to do the dishes tonight. Here we go. What is your spouse's shoe size? Uh, seven and a half. That is correct. Well, he sometimes wears an eight and a half, but lately he's been wearing a nine. That's correct. How many children did your spouse want when you got married? I would say Carla would definitely say two. No. Okay, incorrect. What's the correct answer? One kid. Done. Want any kids? <laughs> is that correct? Zero. Except for you. <laughs> We're so happy we had you. Okay. You're the best. It's a little too late. If your spouse had his or her dream job, what would it be? Carla would be an actor. Sure. He wants to be a uh, bird watcher. Can't make a living doing that. What is your spouse's mother's maiden name? Uh, maiden name would be. Um, uh, Oh my god, that got me nervous for a sec. Okay, Carla? Did you? Yes. Has your spouse ever had a nickname? Uh, Ginger. <laughs> Is that correct? What's the correct answer? No, never had a nickname. Is that correct? Not from Carla, but people call me Easy E or Rick a lot of times. But it was never a nickname. It so, was a nickname, Easy E. Number eight. What single word would your spouse use to describe you? Carla would say, annoying. Is that the correct answer? <laughs> I was gonna say irritating. Okay. Oh, it's like the same thing. Carla, your answer? Also irritating. Is that correct? No, no. Uh, selfless. Yes. Hey, good times in Morongo. She looks like she's having fun. No mask. Last question. Good. What is your spouse's favorite way to wind down after a stressful day? I think she, even though she might not think of it as winding down, but she might, is she likes to prepare a meal for us. Yeah. Time to tally up the numbers. Do, 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 do. Carla was correct on every single answer and Eric was wrong three times. And that's it. That means that Eric is going to have to clean the dishes tonight. What? How do you feel about that? Not good. Not good.
morning walk with the doggies. Do you have anything to say? Having a wonderful morning in Joshua Tree. Black Diamond. Day two. Day two, 32 miles of hiking ahead. We don't have any water, but we do have hard seltzer. <laughs> So it is currently 9.20 and I'm about to get into bed and start reading. Quarantine has turned me into an 80 year old woman, but I was just looking at some of the stuff that I brought with me on the trip on my bedside table and I was thinking, why don't I share some bedtime table essentials that <laughs> I really like to always have with me. I bring them when I travel and they're always on my bedside table at home. Here's my bedside table essentials. And yes, I am in my Christmas pajamas. Don't judge me. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but it is in my mind. So yeah, wearing these for the rest of the year, baby. Get used to it. First essential. This is kind of ridiculous and a little bit extra of me, but I brought this pillow spray. My mom actually gave this to me. It's from Loctane and it's called a relaxing pillow mist. I don't know exactly what the scent is, but it's something relaxing. And basically it says to mist it in, in your bedroom 15 minutes before going to bed to create a calming atmosphere, conductive to relaxation and well-being. So what I do is like before I'm about to go to sleep, I'll just do a few spritz of this on the pillows and I don't know, it's definitely nice to bring something like this on a trip because it kind of makes the bedroom feel more like homey. When I spray that, I know that it's time to wind down. So really love that. Other bedtime essential, it's my birth control. Yay. <laughs> yep, that's just, this is just a realistic bedtime staple. I take mine at 8 p.m. So usually around when I'm getting ready for bed. Other must have is this milk lip mask, melatonin overnight lip mask. I've talked about this in videos before. I'm slowly starting to run out and I'm gonna need to uh, purchase another one because it is seriously one of the best things ever. I can't remember why I got this, but I'm happy I did. And it's just amazing. I don't know whether it's placebo with the melatonin or if that actually does anything on your lips, but regardless of that, it's just a really nice lip mask and so moisturizing. Highly recommend. Not sponsored, but I wish. Other thing, I was just on my bedside table always. I just always have one of these hair ties. I don't know. They're the best hair ties. They don't crimp your hair. They hold it. It's just 10 out of 10 amazing. I always lose them, but they're the best. 
Next up, we have my journal. Gotta, gotta have my journal on hand because I like to rant about all of my feelings and get them out so that I don't rant to other people and ruin their day. So yeah, this has been great, especially right now because these really are some crazy times and I need to talk about it and I need to just get my depression and anxiety out. So I write it down. So yeah, I brought this with me just so that it would kind of force me to write. It's like if I have it with me, then I probably will pick it up and write even just a little bit in it. What's funny about this is that my friend Taylor got me this journal for my birthday last year or, or maybe it was just because i was going i think it was for my birthday for like it was supposed to be a study abroad journal for when i went away and it is basically turned into a quarantine journal and just like a covid 2020 to 2021 journal of just all the stuff that has gone down so it's been a whirlwind and it's all in here so yeah i've just been trying to document everything that's been happening because it's like very historic so i think i'm gonna want to look back on all this and tell my kids one day or something so trying to write down everything that's happening like politically and also culturally with with all the movements that have been happening and with covid and how that's affected everything so a lot of journaling other thing that's on my bedside table is my hydro flask ah love it I just love this thing so much. It makes drinking water just fun for some reason. I think it's because of the spout straw type thing. It's just great. I like the color. It's like this kind of light purple blue. Holds so much water. It's 32 ounces. Highly recommend if you're trying to drink more water and you're buying all these crazy water bottles that are like, how are timed. Have you seen those like huge water bottles? They're like, drink me now. Drink, you go girl, keep going, whatever. Like, I just think hydro flask all the way if you're trying to drink more water the one with the spout life changing seriously because i just i'll just rest it on me here i'll demonstrate I'm just kind of like rest it on my arm or whatever it's like you don't have to unscrew a cap like prime laziness water to your mouth great other thing on my bedside table is the book that i'm currently reading it's called a little life it's amazing it's a novel and it's like 700 pages it's almost 800 pages so this is definitely one of the like longest books i've ever read it's very long but it doesn't feel dense at all you're really interested in the character's stories and I feel like it can look intimidating at first to pick up a big book like this but you slowly just like get into it and then you start breezing through it and i'm a slow reader so if i can do it you can do it. Taylor made me this bookmark and I'm obsessed with it. She literally laminated it. It has like all my favorite things. Sushi, iced coffee, Jeff Bridges, New York. It's so cute. And last but certainly not least, my Nintendo Switch. So everyone got these in the beginning of quarantine. Animal Crossing was a big hit and then slowly I feel like people started to not use this as much. I could be wrong but i feel like it was almost like a fad and i also was that person i got one playing it all the time and then it slowly died down barrett was honestly playing it more than i was this is basically our shared switch but yeah i've been starting to get into it recently while i'm on winter break and honestly i think it's because while i was in school i was feeling like why am i wasting my time doing this like i should be doing homework or whatever but now that i'm on break i'm like i need to go check in on my town like see how it's doing i haven't been there in forever and my house has like trash in it there's cockroaches everywhere it's honestly an unpleasant welcome it's snowing there crazy and i'm having a good time i'm happy to be back those are my bedtime essentials okay and i also brought this face mask on the trip i'm gonna put it on i leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes and that's gonna be my night that's it that's as exciting as it gets this is this is the excitement right now so hope you all are having a great night oh it really smells like lemon god they're not playing around good night sweet dreams hope this doesn't give you nightmares Love you all. Goodbye, Joshua Tree. Goodbye, Joshua Tree.